control. And the opponent, the opponent's like looking at all their cards in hand, and they're like, "Man, I don't want to play anything." Like they don't want to play anything because they just enable our, our death from below. So they're <laughs> they're like, "Man, I don't want to play anything." So of course I know we have another pike on top. That's why you counterfeit copies your pikes. You have lots of pikes. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Death From Below. Going to be our next meme tier Monday deck. This one's going to be a little crazy. This is, I think this is the most meme tier of all of our meme tier decks for today. This one's going to be all about Pike and copying Pike. And the reason why we have labeled it Death From Below is because Whenever you lurk a pike, you, you transform it into this death from below card. And our goal here is going to be to attack with the pike on top, have it lurk, get a death from below, and then counterfeit copies death from below. So you can get more copies of death from below in your deck because death from below is such a strong card. And then after you do that, then you go practical perfectionist, predict, choose the death from below, and then also create three more copies of Death From Below into the deck. And so we're gonna use Practical Perfectionist and Counterfeit Copies to get more Death From Belows in the deck. I don't know if, if it's like exactly gonna work, but that's like the theory behind the deck. We'll also have Parade Electro Rig in here, being able to create more pikes in the deck, make it an easier chance for us to Death From Below. And that's kind of the whole uh, you know theory behind the deck. So, you know, we got a bunch of lurkers in here as far as Bilgewater goes, like as many lurkers as we can. And then we just have uh, PNZ for different different copy cards and also different removal. A little bit of card draw with Progress Day and Time Trick. And that's going to be it. So hopefully we get a lot of pikes, uh, of course, because we just need allied pikes to do 15 plus damage in order to level up pike. And then our leveled up pikes are going to be incredible and take over the game. So I don't know if this will work. <laughs> you know, it seems pretty crazy, but we're going to try it. We're playing this all pike deck, calling it Death From Below. So let's go play five games over in normal. All right, looks like we got a Buried Sun Disk deck. That would be my guess here. Looks like a lot of Ascended Champions over there. Okay, so... Do we keep Pike in the opener, or do we shuffle Pike back to try to lurk Pike? The reason to keep in the opener is, you know, we could have, like, Electro Rig into Pike. Or I could just, like, replace both of them. Popo says keep. I'm, I'm keeping these two. You think we keep the Pike? Saigumba says keep also. All right, we'll keep the Pike. We'll go, we'll go with both of these. Electro Rig can put more pikes into the deck for us. That would make it a little bit easier to turn them into death from belows. Now we got Bone Skewer. Bone Skewer looking good. That's a way to put pike on top of the deck and get a death from below. I'm keeping the Aftershock, of course, because they're a Buried Sun Disc deck and you just want to be able to blow up Buried Sun Disc. Uh, we're going to just save the two mana from Bone Skewer. Always forward. Lurk. No. Spears ready. Sure. That's fine with me. I'll make a note. Saving my two mana. Um, my bone skewer. Where I go, carnage follows. Mm. You will die this day, Pike. Wouldn't be my first time. No 
lot of parade electro rigs. I don't know exactly how I'm doing this whole like pike bone skewer thing. But I do want more copies of pike in the deck. Because just like bone skewering after you attack just means we're, we're just going to draw a pike normally and it's not going to be a death from below. So as far as like trying to get this, like I'd have to like bone skewer first and then attack and then it turns into the death from below. But that's kind of not exactly what I want. It It is a mess. If you want to stay off my list. It is all a mess. Yeah, Nash is just saying just save it. All right, maybe to save it. The slaughter will never end. Really? With us, right? Really? I mean, I guess that's just game over. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't see anything that I could possibly do right now. Okay, y'all wanted me to attack last round? Oh, I thought you said just save it and don't attack. Okay, so y'all wanted me to attack? So, I'm supposed to attack every single turn with this. Gotcha. Why would you not block with the 9-9 that would then level up whenever... What, what are you doing? This will be a good fight, Pike. For one of us. Yeah, I guess playing around 8 mana thermo. I guess this, I'm just dead. This, this thing just kills me no matter what I do. Can't stop that. Sivir LeBlanc. Sivir LeBlanc gonna kill us real fast. They don't have too much overwhelm though. I don't know if I mulligan everything. Those are gone for sure. I just mulligan everything. I mean, I'll keep the perfectionist. Always had it. Wasn't even close. Sands. I can't really imagine that we win this game. Unless we hit Pike on top. Which, you know, we're playing a, a Death from Below meme tier deck. We gotta be lucky and find Pike. But yeah, there's also that card. Alright, well, they got a champion.
Come on. I can't stop all these things. GG's. They have like we can't beat Silver Ru Rune Runner. All right, this is this definitely looks like more of a meme tier deck. This is, looks a little bit more our speed. Cause yeah, we we don't have we have no shot against Sivir. Okay, looks like a good hand to replace. Cool. All right, so we got Pike and Bone Skewer. Just gotta figure out exactly how we want to do that. Yeah, we talked about the cards revealed today earlier. They. The dragons are... All three of the dragons look really, really good. The non-dragon card doesn't look too good. But all three of the dragons are going to be very good. Like, they'll be able to be played. They look solid. Alright, I know this isn't the death from below. But I'm going to go ahead and just put more pikes into the deck right now. Give us a better chance of lurking. So I kind of see what our opponent's doing. So right, they play a, a one mana champion, a two mana champion, a three mana champion, a four mana champion, and a five mana champion. So they can curve out one through five all champions. That's pretty smart. You can just play a champion every single round. You know, like why? Why not play a champion on every single round? Pretty smart. Saving the Bone Skewer for the Pike. Correct. The next expansion will have one champion in it. Just like how Aphelios was an expansion with just one champion, with just Aphelios. That's going to be our next expansion as well. I'm sure they got plenty of removal. We don't want to just use the Bone Skewer proactively and allow them to respond with a removal spell. Probably want to wait for them to remove my pike and then I bone skewer. Yeah, I guess it's Viego is the next one. The next champion. Viego from San Diego. Okay, looks like we hit Lurk. Looks like we got lucky. Hit Lurk. Got our death from below. Looking at their deck, I don't know if they'd have like that much other puff cap stuff. I don't know if like five, you know, five puff caps is that big a deal. We can just give this vulnerable with the hammer snout. Save the death from below for something a little bit better. Mozart, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That is our first sub of the day. I have the sub goal is 2 out of 5 because I am not good at changing stuff from our last stream. That was We had two subs last stream. Now we got one today. So I want to get Pike and play for our Parade Electro Rig. Do I just play this Death From Below now? I'll just snap jaw swarm it, I guess. They should know not to play anything. That's a surprise. So 
So we've lurked three times, so Death from Below is doing five damage. Wow. We've hit four times. It's doing six damage. Death from Below does have to strike an enemy. We can't just kill our own Snapjaw Swarm. And the opponent, the opponent's like looking at all their cards in hand and they're like, man, I don't want to play anything. Like, they don't want to play anything because they just enable our, our death from below. So they're, <laughs> they're like, man, I don't want to play anything. So of course I know we have another pike on top. That's why you counterfeit copies your pikes. You have lots of pikes. This has been like the dream game for us. Everything's been working out really well. I mean, I wasted removal so I could get pike in play and level up pike and do all that kind of stuff. That's This is my very first time ever leveling up a pike. I actually have never leveled up pike before. I've played against, or no, no, never mind. I have leveled up pike one time before, Never mind. Forget, forget I said anything. <laughs> Joe Nike says for the Pike Labs, I use the perk that gives counterfeit copies every round. Very nice. I guess it's technically possible for, like, if I just open attack, they just do seven to my Nexus, like, with. Get excited, get excited, mystic shot type stuff. And so, therefore, I should do Nexus damage to them. I want Pikes to win it. So I'm counting this as a win, even if we lose, because Mystic Shot would kill them right now. So even if they like have like some, I don't know, some Withering Whales and stuff, and somehow we end up losing, I'm still counting as a, I'm still counting this as a win. All right, cool. I wanted Pikes to do the damage though. That's right, it's Meme Tier Day. We gotta have fun on Meme Tier Day. All right, one and two. Two, three, two, four. So I like per Perfectionist, Snapjaw, Pike, and honestly against Twisted Fate, Swain, I think I like the time trick also. I think I actually like our hand. This is the first. Am I supposed to just like throw away Snapjaw? Like, do I do I play Snapjaw and just have it die? I don't think I do. But y'all are probably telling me, no, you gotta lurk every single round. Yeah, I mean, it would have lurked, but I don't feel like I'm supposed to do that. So Sharkling is the worst card out of all of those. But I'm choosing Sharkling to put it on top so that we can attack and lurk. But now we got more Sharklings in the deck. So that's not fantastic. Yeah, it wasn't Pike. Pike would have been the best, right? Like putting Pike on top. They're just thinking, do we do I play my Maker Rain or not, I guess? That's that's what they're thinking. Oh, Noxion Fervor. I'm probably dead. Never lost a fair game. We played one. Hold it, partner. Alright, 
have Pike get some damage in there. Get a Pike. No Pike. A Swarm could be good. Ish. Yeah, playing Pike from hand isn't ideal. Um, Would have liked to have it before, but like you know, it was, it was a three-three with like the two-twos coming in, with them being all aggressive and everything. It was a good blocker. This is pretty bad for me because obviously my plan was Snapjaw Swarm this round, and they uh, snuffed that out pretty good. Miss Lurk. You know, even with like two perfectionists that put a whole bunch more lurkers into the deck, still Miss Lurk. I know we're gonna miss Lurk again. No, I'm I'm they've they've been very adamant on doing a bunch of Nexus damage. I think that uh, getting rid of that three two because like the Swain can't really block now. I'm getting rid of that three two is the way to go. If I kill Swain, we're at 9 and they have a 3-2, or I can be at 12 and they have a 4-2. to get yep <laughs> yeah you know this is blood bait looks really bad and it it does every every single lurk deck I've ever played blood bait has looked really bad it's it's cost me a lot of games for how bad this card is but the thing is, is like there's just not enough lurk cards in just bilge water. You just kind of have to play it, and you just, yeah, it's just part. Of, you know, it's it's rough. It's it's not good. It's not good. So I could have put it here to like make sure that we hit lurk and get a four two. But like, what am I doing with the, like this swarm? I need to find like we haven't found pike. I guess we did find the one pike, but we got to find pike. Yeah, Ripper's Bay isn't playable either because it just doesn't do anything right now so it's just I mean I guess Ripper's Bay you can at least cast and it doesn't put a card on top of your deck but it doesn't it's bugged it just doesn't do anything so Jawfish is 50-50 Never mind, not 50-50. I thought that that was going to take out the powder keg, but I guess not, so... Please hit Leviathan. Yeah. 
No, yeah, even if Rippers wasn't bugged, it probably wouldn't be that good in the deck, but... I mean, it would... It, if, a bl if Rippers wasn't bugged, if it worked, if Rippers worked properly, it would help dig you to Pike, right? And like the whole point of like this meme tier deck is to get more and more Pikes, and so I think that that still works. I think that's that's probably worth it, right? Because you, you just want Pike, and so like the Rippers Bay, if it worked, I think would be good. Good is subjective, better than this thing. I took this thing because, like, if they, yeah, I mean, if they didn't open attack, we'd have that thing, but. I mean, our, <laughs> we're not going to handle those decks, like, those, those are, like, some of the matchups we're facing. Okay, we have a chance here. This looks like another meme tier deck. I like it. Yeah, these Twisted Swains and Sivir LeBlancs, I, those decks are really good. Okay, we got Sharkling. I don't know. All of these are like, like none of these cards are that bad. You know what? I'm just going to keep it. None of these are Lurk cards, and that's probably good for us, right? Let's just keep all of the Lurk cards in the deck so we have a better chance of hitting Lurk. And just we'll just have all the spells in our hand. And then we'll have the Lurk cards on top. So that then we hit Lurk. Or not. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, man. I kind of mentioned this before, but... Um, I have never played a Parade Electro Rig and had a winning record with one before. Do I want to just time trick? I don't know what I'm looking for if I time trick. Okay, so they missed their lurk. Also. And we also missed lurk. Where are you at, Pike? I got removal spells. We'll kind of see what our opponent is doing. They have had a lot of preparations. They're sitting here drawing a good amount of cards. I think I used an aftershock on each of preparations. Um, let's go ahead and thermogenic beam this. Get a Rek'Sai out of here. Like, what else am I doing with my mana? Yeah, they seem very prepared. Ah. Uh, well, that's not good.
Okay, so grant the, the top ally of your deck plus two, plus two. This could actually put a lurker on top. No, never lucky. I know there's this lurker, but we want... Yeah, yeah we want pike. See you soon, friendos. Maybe we get pike on top still. I don't want to draw that eight mana lurker. That would have been perfect. Like this, put you know, choose Pike, get more copies of Pike in the deck, put Pike on top. That would have been perfect. Ooh, we got a lurker. We got a lurker on Tom. And it's Pike. We got death from below. Let's go. All right, it's working. It is working. Okay, so we've gotten one lurker so far. So that means death from below is doing uh, three damage. No! <laughs> Why? Why you do this? Oh, Mafia Plot, you gave my opponent deny? Don't do that. Don't give my opponent an eye. Okay, so we can go jaw fish. Well, let's look for another pike. Not pike. A one, a two, a three. Ooh, all right, we got another, got another lurk. And so I am willing to trade both of, both of these because then my jawfish is going to hit like whatever thing is worth hitting. Huh. That seems kind of strange. All right, so I guess they are at five. So I could try to just simply, you know, just go look for, look for a burn spell to win the game. I'm surprised they didn't block at all. Like even like the one, two, they're just like, nah, I don't want to block. Yeah, I mean, Mystic Shot's kind of a burn spell that wins the game. Okay, they're they're keeping up with their right negations. So what do they got? They got maybe Rek'Sai they're thinking about playing or not. I want them to play, you know, like a three-three or a four-four, so you know something like that. We jawfish, kill it, attack with both. Okay, yeah, it was the Rek'Sai. Ooh. I guess we can hit Lurk, so might as well attack. Do I play... Mm, mm, no. Okay, we did hit Lurk. Good. Ooh, that could be good. Ooh, 
shared spoils is unlocked. Go away, Rek'Sai. Go away. Alright, no learn. There we go, all right. We're just gonna attack with them. And we got it. Two and three. All right, so that was our death from below. It ended up being pretty difficult to, you know, act, you know, to lurk and get death from below and then to and then have, have uh, counterfeit copies. We did get death from below probably like, what, two of those games? Like, death from below is not easy to, to hit. And we only did a couple of times, and uh, we didn't have counterfeit copies either time that we did. Yeah, there we go. You know, like, it's it's a meme deck for a reason, trying to just copy Pike a lot with Electro Rig and counterfeit copies. Um, but it is difficult to do, and it's difficult to play Pike in other regions besides Sharima. Because the... Lurkers that you have, you don't have very many, and you have Snapjaw Swarm, which is very good. You have Sharkling, which is very good, and Redfin Hammer Snout, which is very good. But Bloodbait, as we saw there, pretty poor, and then Jawfish is just so expensive. Um, so you know, it's it's kind of tough, but that was still pretty fun. We got to do some cool stuff there with this Death from Below deck. All right, so those y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments about a copy pike deck. You got other ideas for that. I do have another donation deck to play, like a mono Sharima pike deck with Golden Ambassador to draw it, and Siphoning Strike and stuff like that, so we'll be getting to that one. Um, and that one will probably be a ranked deck. We'll get to that one soon. Um, but yeah, this one was trying to get lots and lots of copies of pike in the deck. You got other ideas for that? Feel free to leave them over in the comment section. But that's going to be it here for Death From Below. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.